Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. We are done with the first mock in this LEGO Andor build series and are finally moving on to the second one. The second mock is again of the Primor security headquarters. I'm basing it specifically on the scene where Cyril orders his technicians to find a canary male on Ferrix in episode 1. There weren't any pictures online so I needed to take a couple off my computer screen. Here's the initial sketch I had in mind for this mock. I tried to replicate the scenes as best as possible within my size limitations. I took a couple creative liberties and kind of made it my own. The mock will have a black border. The right side of the mock will be all angled in. There will be computers and consoles below the large angled windows where the technicians will sit. Three octagonal spaces will line the left side of the mock and I will add a drink vending machine right here. Before I started building, I quickly wiped up my desk and cleaned up my workspace. I also grabbed myself a cup of coffee and got to building. I started by placing down two 16x16 16 16 plates and two 8x16 plates to create the base. Again, this will be the size of every mock in this series besides the finale. I then connected the plates with some 2x4 bricks. After that, I began working on the black border. I first laid down some black plates and then put some black bricks onto those. I then added some long plates onto the bricks to lock everything in, and some black tiles onto the outside layer of studs. Next I added some 2x6 bricks to the back side of the base. I tested to see how sturdy the base was, and it was pretty sturdy. After shaking the base, I started filling in a lot of the gaps using whatever bricks fit. Now that some of the big gaps were filled, I began experimenting and planning where I wanted everything to be and how big I wanted the mock to be. I grabbed some 2x6 light bluish gray tiles and began tiling off the outside of the floor. Now that the tiles were laid, it helped me visualize where I wanted everything else to be. I then grabbed a bunch of snot bricks and other regular light bluish gray bricks and began working on the rest of the floor. Next, I worked a little on the back wall by adding the hexagonal windows. It was now time to start working on the big angled window. I was kind of dreading this part because I knew it was going to be difficult. I had a rough idea of how I wanted to do the angle, but I was still a little nervous about it. I used these hinge pieces and cheese slopes because the angle fits perfectly over the slopes when you angle it down. I stacked a bunch of large white window frames I recently got off Bricklink. They match the scene really well. I then used some arch pieces and rounded bricks. The arches fit perfectly over the rounded bricks, so I figured this was how I was going to add this lattice element to the angled window. Next, I added some printed tiles for the computer consoles. I had a bunch of different ones that I recently got off Bricklink. I thought they matched the retro vibe of the technology in the show really well. It was on to day two of building. Like always, I grabbed some coffee. And speaking of beverages, I built this little drink dispenser machine that we see briefly in the show. I took some creative liberties and I really love how it turned out. It slides in almost perfectly under some inverted slopes. I was able to connect the lattice piece onto the part with all the white window frames. I also added all the tile panels by connecting them to some clip pieces. The design looks super cool, however it might be a tad bit tall. I had an accident knocked over one of my picket brick cups off my desk and pieces spilt everywhere. That's what happens when my desk gets too cluttered. After cleaning up the spilt pieces, I began working on the angled wall that will cover up the side of the angled window lattice. I used a variation of this technique in my last mock for the entrance door to the club on Morlana 1. Moving on to day 3, I started by organizing my workspace so I don't knock more things off my desk. I tried putting away a lot of pieces I had sitting out that I knew I wouldn't use anymore. I still need to build this wall up some more and make the side match the other side. I added some wires and other little details to the control area. I also added a little hat rack for the officers. I ended up shortening the angled wall by taking off one complete row of window frames. I think this looks a lot better now and a little bit more contained. 
I still need to work on putting a roof on it now and making sure everything is connected. I added a lot of big panel pieces to build up the back of the mock. This makes building quick and they are very stable. The roof fits perfectly. I was a little nervous it wouldn't connect correctly. I then stacked a bunch of tan jumper plates and connected them to some tan snot bricks so they were on their side. Next I added some greebled parts to the top that could be some sort of generator or power source. I then finished building up the back and tiled off the top. After adding all the minifigures and other little details, I needed to go for a walk and take the rest of the day off. It's always good for my creative process to get outside, clear my head, and fill it with fresh new ideas. Now that the second mock in my Andor series was done, I took photos in my lightbox and edited them in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. 